These are some things that I have learned from exploring. And this is serious business. You really need to pay attention if you want to learn anything about urban exploring from a female. Yeah, it's a tough world out there. Fleas love steam tunnels, and the only way to get them off is to pull over on the side of the road and strip down into your underwear. Your shoe will get caught under a fence at the worst possible time ever. Your reserved hotel room will almost always be given to someone else that isn't you. Pipes hang low sometimes, and they slam into your forehead, usually more than once. I know where the morgue is. When the cops tell you that you have five minutes to come out of the building, or else you're going to jail, they're lying. When the cops tell you there are homeless people living in the tunnels, they're lying. When the cops tell you that the buildings are haunted, they're lying. When the cops tell you there have been countless rapes and murders in the abandoned buildings, they're lying. People hide keys in really stupid places. Everything is poison ivy. All, and I mean all, state hospital maintenance workers have a stash of porno mags in their office. All of them. And if you're watching this and you're like, hey, I'm a state hospital maintenance worker and I don't have any por- You're lying! Lying. Sometimes you lose your shoes on the roof of an abandoned building because security is coming up to get you and you have to quickly hide and you have to walk back to your car barefoot. And that's a really long walk. I would really like my shoes back. Sometimes if you just pretend to be security, they believe you. Never ever park on property. I haven't, but I know this girl who did, and let's just hope her parents are Nazis too. Never write your phone number on the wall because people will call you. If you hear people screaming really loudly in the distance, get down on the ground, get, 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 get down on the ground. It's not police and it's not security. It's just, well, it's not who you think it is. And it's not Gilly the Kid. I guarantee. Firecrackers really scare the shit out of people. Active hospitals have more rats, cockroaches, and spiders than inactive hospitals. And by rats, I mean snitches. As little John would say, security ain't shit. Listening to Wu-Tang while exploring at night scares all the ghosts away. They really do not like Wu-Tang. Sometimes you'll be asked to appear on a ghost hunting show only to show up and get kicked off by the owner. Because owners really fucking hate explorers. You might have to hide in a three foot attic for three and a half hours. Barefoot. The tunnel might have looked really cool to crawl through until you realize that you're at the end and you are covered in shit. Shit! It was not a good idea. It was a very bad idea. If you call Domino's and order the Gotham City pizza with like 50% more pepperoni and have it ordered to the abandoned building that you're in with all of your friends, the cops will raid it. <laughs> and then they will steal your chicken suit. 